My lovely, lovely imps, if you are here watching this right now, chances are you have already seen my previous video on the evolving nightmare situation with Xander Hall, another uh, content creator on this strange and weird website. Um, if you're watching this live, you may have been here last night. If you are, if you have not seen any of this, you should go watch the video. The video will be up on my channel and is currently up as a live stream VOD with beautiful timestamps uh, that I recommend you go watch it because I talked about a lot of different things. Today, however, we have to talk about a little bit more. You see, for the last seven months or so, actually almost eight months now, I have been, me and many other people, have been more or less satisfied to go our own path. Back in December, behind closed doors, in private, a bunch of horrible shit went down between me, Xander Hall, Xander Hall's editor, and a couple of our other mutual friends, and also uh, the uh, proprietor and leader of, uh, of the platform on which we all stream, White Nervosa. And what went down uh, was one of the most uh, unhinged, selfish, and childish mental uh, breakdowns that I have ever witnessed uh, from Xander Hall. And all of us who are uh, very, who are very close friends with him. And when I say very close friends, I'm going to summarize for those of you who haven't seen my previous discussion on this. I personally flew down to California and myself, because Zan doesn't drive, I drove Xander Hall all the way up the West Coast to his new home, helped him move out, helped him move in. I have take care, helped taking care of Zan while he is sick. I have spoken to him when he is feeling down. I have talked him down out of panic situations. I have gone and done wellness checks on him. I have taken him to dinner. I have gone and done things. We are real world actual friends, were. And in December, he not only torched and, uh, his relationship with me, he torched his relationship with Cherry, his editor, who was the lifeblood of his channel. And I need you to understand just how much of the lifeblood Cherry was. Cherry produced all of his, his episodes and, uh, and outlines. Cherry edited all of his videos. Cherry took care of his finances to a great degree. Almost all of his financial uh, uh, paperwork was handled by Cherry in some way or another. His thumbnails were created by Cherry. His channel management was done by Cherry. What Xander Hall does is get on his TV, on his, on his uh, desk, and turn on the camera. That's what he does, okay? And Xander Hall, as I d detailed last night, berated, abused, insulted, and took money from his own best friend, and the lifeblood of his channel for somewhere in the ballpark of three years, Cherry had carried his channel. But it wasn't just that. It wasn't just Cherry. It was a bunch of other people that he freaked out on as well. He freaked out on White Nervosa. He freaked out on me. This is a very quick and short summary of the stuff that went down, but I highly recommend you go watch my longer stream where I go into all of this on detail and reply and explain how we got to this point. Because I'm not gonna explain how we got to this point now, outside of a very broad stroke, okay? All of this shit went down in December, okay? And when that went down, I talked to him in private and I told him what I thought, which was that I thought that he was being out of line. I kept it very blunt, but kind. I was not mean to him. And he began to plot to burn me. Now. For a lot of people who aren't uh, familiar with Xander Hall's language, or who might not be familiar with the language of, uh, of, of weird drama internet spaces, when somebody says they're gonna burn you, it means that they're going to do whatever they can to destroy your reputation and take down your channel. Okay? That's what he wanted to do. At that point, I said, I'm done. I am not going to associate with this person. I don't trust this person anymore. It's a real shame. My dog is barking downstairs. You could probably hear that. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, 
Yeah, Yodi's barking downstairs. Sorry about the barking. That actually cheers me up a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, at that point, uh, I said that I don't trust this person anymore, which was a real shame because Zan was somebody that I treated as a friend, that I had traveled. You can actually go on my shorts channel right now and you can watch us vlog our trip together, okay? It was really disappointing and it was hurtful. I felt like I had been discarded as a friend because I dare disagreed with him. And I'm gonna show you the full extent, okay? But first, we have to do just a little bit of explanation, okay? We have, to, uh, we have to explain why I'm doing this stream today, like specifically. And that's because after my stream last night, Xander Hall decided to go live today. Now, I want to remind you all that at the end, uh, or for, if you haven't seen it for the first time, at the end of my stream last night, I addressed Xander Hall as personally as I could. And I reminded him that all of us remember what he did and that he knows what he did. There is no way that he can deny what went down in December. But today he tried to do that. And I think the reason for that is because I believe he's come to think that he is invincible. I believe that he's come to think that he lives in a world that is without repercussion, that he lives in a world where he can say and do whatever he wants about anyone, even people who have been loyal to him even people who have been true friends to him. I think that he thinks that he's created himself a little bubble where, where he's surrounded by, by little minions. And I don't, uh, I think he's wrong about that. But ultimately, it's kind of going to be up to his community to decide whether or not he's wrong about that. Because if his community is willing to see the truth and look the other way, then I guess he's right. I guess he does have a little bubble of people who will listen to whatever he says, no matter how false it is. So let's watch him do it. Let's talk about it. Let's watch some of the clips from his stream today. Shall we? Let's get right into it. Here we go. This is the first clip from his stream today. This is a two minute and 40 second clip. So uh, don't you dare claim that anyone's being uh, clipped out of context. We got a three minute chunky clip here. Let's have a listen in Zan's own words to what he has to say. According to Demon Mommy, you completely blew up at Cherry. That's a really bad look, not gonna lie. Um, sometimes me and Cherry got stressed out and would yell, but like no more than just general like friend arguments and stuff. Uh, we also had a tendency to spam things at each other in all caps. The Walter White meme. Walter White in the car. Have you tried reaching out to Cherry not on stream to talk with- oh, I, I- like, she blocked me out of nowhere. Like, the, the Cherry blocking me thing was for no reason, to be clear. Like, we were completely chill. It's for no reason. Keep all of this in mind, okay? I'm gonna replay the beginning just so this is in your mind. I need you all to remember exactly what he said. We're gonna just replay this and then we'll continue the rest of the clip. Let's listen to that beginning part one more time. According to Demon Mommy, you completely blew up at Cherry. That's a really bad look, not gonna lie. Um, sometimes me and Cherry got stressed out and would yell, but like, no more than just general like friend arguments and stuff. Uh, we also had a tendency to spam things at each other in all caps. The Walter White meme, Walter White in the car. Have you tried reaching out to Cherry not on stream to talk with- oh, I, I, like, she blocked me out of nowhere. Like, the, the Cherry blocking me thing was for no reason, to be clear. Like, we were completely chill, and then out of nowhere, they, they just, like, say, I'm gonna block you before you block me, because at that very moment, Demon Mama was doing her stream. Like, it, it's... That's a lie also, by the way. Small lie, but still a lie. I was not doing my stream at that moment. In fact, I know when Cherry blocked Zan, and it was after Zan blocked me, which I had just DM'd him, which was like a full day or more after my stream. He's just an idiot. It's and a not liar. worth paying, like giving attention to because any like disagreements that Cherry had with me, they were fine with until Demon Mama called me out. Wrong. You. Hmm. Remember how I said? No. Let's continue. Let's continue. And on top of that, like, any unfinished, like, 
agreements or, or business stuff was already in the works of being dealt with and hashed out. No, it was not, and I will prove it. Cherry's just blocked me and, like, cut me off, so how am I supposed to do that? So, unfortunate. You already got clipped and is on Twitter using your non-response as a response? Of course, like, the fact that you guys in real time can witness me getting clipped dishonestly is all you need to see to know how they're playing this. So real quick, do you think this is a dishonest clip? Does anybody watching think this is a dishonest clip? We started at the beginning of him talking about it and he has now finished his statement and is moving on to another statement. You think this is a dishonest clip? Because I don't know how you could make an honest clip if this is a dishonest clip. But he loves to call everything a dishonest clip. It reminds me of serial liars. Now, he issued a lot of lies in this statement. And one of the ones that feels both like a deep lie and incredible stupidity is the idea that the people who were mad at him were okay with it. No one was okay with it. We all told him in December how out of line he was, excessively. We went above and beyond. Last night, we read White Nervosa's public thread at the time, stating clearly just how not okay with it everybody was. See, what he's confusing with everybody being okay with it is people saying, that's it, we're done with Zan, and walking their own way. And he couldn't let it alone. He's been taking pot shots at all of us. He had it good. He doesn't even recognize that people took the high road and said, you know what, Zan? You were a fucking asshole. You were a fucking freak, but we want to move on with our lives. He couldn't take that. And now you understand why we're here. But let's continue, shall we? Right? Like, this... It's not worth paying attention to. It's a very small bubble of people that are mostly relevant in a small- Pay no mind to the abuse that I did to others and that I am now lying about. It's not worth paying attention to. Just keep giving me money for my stream so I can stream lazily from a mold-infested basement. A ...bubble of Twitter, which is itself a shrinking bubble as well, um, that are very, very mad that I have the capacity to be the better person and just move on from petty bullshit like. Just you wait. We got 30 seconds left and I'm gonna hit you with it. This, people who want you to get like, have you ever been in a situation like this chat? Just like, not even referring to like drama online or anything, but have you ever been in a situation where you just, decided early on in like a disagreement with somebody that you are going to be above it like you're gonna be above you're gonna take the high road and you taking the high road is taking pot shots of the people who said that they wanted nothing to do with you and haven't shot at you at all i haven't taken shots at zan vosh hasn't taken shots at zan cherry hasn't even taken shots at zan but you know who has taken shots at all those people fucking zan Taking the high road upsets the other person, and they desperately, desperately, desperately try to get you to take the low road and get down to their level. Yep. Yeah, I've seen that. Yep. Yeah. That is what's happening right now, and I am refusing to do it. I am refusing to take the bait. The bait being confronting the truth of what you did while you lie excessively on your channel. Do you see why I am so fucking angry? Real quick, I just want to drive the point home. We're going to listen one more time real quick to this, okay? One more time at the beginning of this, and then I'm going to show you something. According to Demon Mommy, you completely blew up at Cherry. That's a really bad look, not gonna lie. Um, sometimes me and Cherry got stressed out and would yell, but, like, no more than just general, like, friend arguments and stuff. Uh, we also had a tendency to spam. Okay. 
me and Cherry would get angry and, and spam jokes at each other, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Let's take a look, okay? Because it's time to get some receipts on board here. This is from November, okay? The beginning of this saga, all right? This is a message from Xander Hall to his own editor, Cherry. And I will be able to provide at the end of this a video of this recording. So there is no denying that these exist. I'm gonna read these out, but just know that for the near future, these are Zan's words, okay? Xander Hall says, on November 27th, 2023 at 7.21 p.m. Okay, so I think that I'm fucked. Still no money and it does not show as pending in my bank account. The number was wrong, confirmed. The 4K went to some rando. It has to be stopped. Cherry, ASAP, emergency, fuck, fuck, homeless. I am now homeless, Cherry. Cherry, why, 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 why? Answer now, please. I'm gonna be homeless. Cherry, Cherry, Cherry. Cherry, 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 V, 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 V. I have never been paid by PV before, according to all my bank an info. Not ever before. Cherry, answer now. I will be homeless starting tomorrow. Cherry, cherry. Okay, we're buying my ticket back to California now. Thank you for completely ghosting me tonight. I'll never forget it. Never. The only way for me to save me is for PV to pay me everything they owe me. I have never received a single payment. Not one. I am fucked. I am fucked. Cherry, answer now. Cherry, you have fucking killed me. Why, why, why? Please just answer. Please, please, please answer now. I have messaged Brianna myself. When you are back online, we need to have a conversation about your future employment. If I am saved, it will be no thanks to you. If I am fucked, it is your fault for not making sure they paid me. You swapped the fucking numbers and they weren't able to pay me because of that. Here's the email that shows that there was a slight typo. By the way, just for context, that issue was resolved very, very shortly. But let's continue. Not the 4K is on its way to some fucking guy now. I am waiting. I want you to know this is just, this is all of these occurred within approximately 40 minutes. Okay, this is now 8.09. I want you to know that if I have to fly to California tomorrow, I cannot bring my PC. I will not be able to afford your pay. Your job will not exist anymore tomorrow because you wouldn't message me back. This is still salvageable, but time is now slipping away. And if you're asleep and see this in the morning, it's already too late. I am now in hot water with Brianna because I look bad for having you handle this shit while I was busy. You were the one who got me to join PV. I told you I would be too busy to handle this stuff and you said you would. I have now paid another $250 so my mom could reschedule her flight and extend her rental car for the week. My lease still ends in 25 hours, but I won't be stranded here without her when I get kicked out. I, I, could have locked, I could have locked in this house hours ago if you were fucking awake to send me the W-9 and pay agreement from PV to verify my income. You fucking fuck. I would have had the place and been moved in by now, you motherfucker. You were the only person holding this whole process back, you fuck. If I end up being made homeless tomorrow because the place gets nabbed up by tomorrow and I'm stuck living with my abusive mom again and my fans ask why I'm back where I started, I will make sure that they know that it is because of you. Now that is one, okay? That is one of many blowups that Xander Hall had starting in November and proceeding into December, okay? Him screaming and blaming everything on Cherry, things that were often immediately resolved, him flipping out. Now there's another little piece of context that I can provide here that won't be reflected in these DMs, which is the fact that the reason why Cherry didn't pick up in the course of 30 minutes is because Cherry was sleeping after having just pulled an all-nighter for Xander Hall, editing his videos because Xander Hall was previously freaking out and saying that the channel was going to die because he was having trouble recording content because of a bunch of bullshit that happened with his move, which was his fault. Xerox 13 star says, Jesus Christ, I came for a nuke and Demon Mama dropped the fucking Zar Bamba. We haven't even gotten started yet. Can you believe it? Because we're not even, we haven't even started yet. Now, I'm gonna show you a video, okay? Real quick. Just real quick, I want you to know that these DMs are real. So I'm gonna show you a screen recording that was taken of these DMs just so we can have the proof here, the facts, the in, incontrovertible facts of the situation. 
can just bring this up real quick and we can watch it together. Ready? Here we go. Hey, look, there's all that there's him freaking out, swearing, screaming, insulting, degrading, threatening Cherry. Look at that. Look, we even censored out the private information of others. Look at that. Here's all the calls that they had in the following days, repeated calls, Cherry trying to call and get and make sure. Now keep in mind, I need you to keep, I need you to be aware of one thing, which is that uh, Xander Hall was not in extreme financial danger and Xander Hall was berating his employee who he repeatedly had issues paying. Xander Hall has a channel, a Patreon, a bunch of different pieces of income that brings him money, which Cherry does not have. Despite the fact that Cherry, out as a friend and as a very hard worker, because keep in mind, Cherry wasn't just an employee. Cherry was a friend who became an employee. They were working on this together. And when I say became an employee, I mean an employee that did everything for Xan, okay? The channel would not have existed if it wasn't for Cherry. Now I want you to tell me real quick, I want you all, before we move on to the next stuff, because there's a lot more, okay? I want you to tell me if you think what Zan said here is the truth, or if it's a damn dirty lie. Tell me. According to Demon Mommy, you completely blew up at Cherry. That's a really bad look, not gonna lie. Um, sometimes me and Cherry got stressed out and would yell, but like, no more than just general like friend arguments and stuff. Have you ever had a friend talk to you like that? Ever? Let alone a boss? Have, is, does that, is that what a friend argument looks like? Now here is, la here is a little, I, I got another one that's relevant to this, okay? So in a, just a few days later, actually I should say just two weeks later, approximately, on uh, December 17th of 2023, approximately two weeks after this berating, exploding event happened. Here is a conflict between Cherry and Zan. Cherry says, you probably won't even pay me this month. Xander Hall responds, why do you think I won't pay you? Zan says, tell me why you think I can't and how it makes me bad. Notice, notice the manipulative language already being used there. Cherry says, you didn't last month. Zan says, why? Say it. Why couldn't I pay you? And how does that reason make me an asshole? I'm going to get evicted at the end of this month at this rate, Cherry. We have not made enough money. I cannot change that. This was him two weeks later after cooling down, okay? After he got his money resolved, okay? Two weeks later. And he's still trying to blame Cherry for it and hold it over Cherry's head. For his channel, his income. This is his money that he made Cherry take care of. And he says, oh, it's your fault because you did it wrong. If he didn't have the money to pay Cherry, then he should have said, we're pausing content for now or I'll edit myself. Or he could have done something that a real human would do, which is that they would say, listen, we're hitting some financial high ground. Do you mind? if I pay you in the future, I'm extremely sorry, okay? Now you'll notice there's nowhere here is there an apology for him uh, actually not paying the person who is doing literally everything for his channel. Not only is there not an apology, he's saying it's Cherry's fault, okay? I wanna show you something else, okay? This is a progression, this is three days after that incident, okay? Three days later, this is a conversation between Cherry and Zan. Cherry says, Cherry says, I have been your number one supporter for two and a half years. I'm worried that if I don't agree to this, you're going to hurt me. This is where we start the discussion around the so-called nuke. Xander Hall says, I'm not Keffels. Cherry says, you talk about wanting people to die a lot. Xander Hall says, a lot of people need to die, to be fair. Cherry says, yeah. 
Xander Hall says, we're still friends, right? Like you want to see my dog and stuff. So we're going to take a little pause, okay, before we go to the next bit. Because what I have coming up next, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. But let's listen to Zan for a minute, because I want to hear how Zan describes things. I want to hear Zan's words for a second. More of his words, but his words right now. When he's in the public and he thinks, uh, you know, and when he doesn't have uh, the truth, you know, around him, when he can just sort of bend things to his will. Let's, let's listen to what Zan had to say today. And by the way, here we go, just so you know, just in case he tries to claim that this is a, uh, a bad faith clipping, this is a four and a half minute clip. Four and a half minutes. Let's see if you can tell me where this is a bad faith clip. Okay, let's see it. Let's listen. They're doing the same thing that uh, Keffels did. Well, they're not, it's, for one, they're defending Keffels, the people going after me. But on top of that- Oh yeah? We're defending Keffels. That's a real weird thing. That's really weird. It almost seems like he's trying to create an alternate reality. It's very, it's honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's very Trumpian. These are communists. They hate America. They're, these are, these are Keffels lovers. You don't understand. They love Keffels. Um, they are doing the thing Keffels did, where they accuse me of being, like, immature, childish, drama-obsessed. All the while, I'm just doing my own thing, doing my own content, uploading my own videos, ignoring them. And they're screaming, He's so obsessed with drama! He, he can't help himself! It's like... <laughs> So as long as I just don't get- Damn, he really thought that was a zinger. He really thought that was a killer. Bro. Oh, the cringe. Involved, I mean, it just kind of proves itself. Sorry to bring up more drama, but someone said on Twitter that you didn't pay Cherry. Yeah, that was the new drama of the day. I'm imagining that as we, like, days go by and this continues to not get anywhere because they- They're just making shit- Not getting anywhere, huh? I don't know, right now we have about three or four times your your peak concurrent viewers of your stream watching the truth be exposed right now. And in the coming days, I'm sure that all the people in this chat are going to spread this far and wide, as they should. We'll see. We'll see. Let's take a gamble on that, Zan. You think this is going to go nowhere? ...up about me. They're just going to continue to make more and more insane claims but for those that don't know i i really don't want to shit talk cherry because like i don't even really like talking about cherry all that much because they're not really a public figure but um when cherry first started working for me i was in the midst of a strike on youtube uh it was actually like i think my 22nd birthday like, I got a strike from YouTube for oh, my 22nd birthday. I see what he means. And at the time, I was doing a live-streamed Minecraft event uh, of Tropicraft. And Cherry uh, was in my DMs after that event asking to uh, work for me as an editor Oh, damn. For free. Weird how that works. So that weird how it's always on his birthday. Everything bad always happens on his poor birthday. It's on my birthday. This is the kind of thing that only a true stupid child thinks is compelling. Like... Uh, just tell me right now, real quick, just give me a show of hands in chat. Do you think it's compelling when someone tries to excuse their rotten behavior by constantly invoking their fucking birthday? Do you think so? Just let me, yeah, yes or no. Let me know in chat. They could have the editor work for me as like a thing on their resume because they might want to pursue future, deeper, like editing work for bigger institutions, bigger whatever, right? And I was like, well, I... I can't really afford to pay an editor, and I don't like the idea of having an editor. Because at the time, you gotta remember, I was with Lonnie, and she was pilfering money from my accounts. So I really didn't have money to pay an editor. So I was like, I 
I don't like that idea, but maybe you can ask me some other time when things are a little better, but I'm in the midst of a strike and I'm not in a good place financially. Cherry's like, no, 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 it's fine. Um, you can pay me when you're able to. I was like, okay. And so that's what we did. Um, we that makes Cherry look good and you look like an unappreciative asshole. It's crazy, right? Let's think back. Do we all remember the fuck, fuck you, fucking fuck? It's your fault. You're gonna, you're the one who's ruined me. I'll tell everyone that it was you who ruined me. And now Zan's retelling the beginning as if it makes him look good. Cherry said, "Look, bro, I believe in your show. I believe in what you have. I'll work until you can pay me. Okay? You can pay me in the future." This demonstrates, by the way, that Cherry is abundantly kind, abundantly patient, abundantly generous, and was in it for the love of Zan's show. He started and for like- Xerox says Zan's content got a thousand times better when Cherry was on board. Yeah, because it's Cherry's content, functionally. Cherry planned everything for him. G gives him a little little file that tells him how to do how, what he needs to do each day. He fucking slogs himself out of bed. Maybe showers if we're lucky. Maybe wipes his ass. The first three months or so, Cherry edited pretty minor, like not a ton of stuff. Oh, Cherry, we haven't got to that one quite yet. But I'll, but just for the future note, everybody, Cherry says, I'm not sticking around right now, but I want to clarify, Zan claims he paid for my tooth surgery. I literally yesterday scheduled my appointment to get that surgery done. He's either lying or trying to confuse it for a completely different time when he helped me once with my bills. Good to know. We'll keep that in mind for when he brings it up. Wolfgar says, Zan is currently talking to some YouTuber named RK Live. Uh, who can, who's RK? Who? Who is this person? Oh, this is Ethan. This is his employee. This is his goddamn employee. Who cares? This is Mad Cope. Yeah, who, who would have thought when Zan goes, Igor, Igor, quickly, we're having a crisis. I said on stream a bunch of lies and that this wouldn't go anywhere. Quickly, Igor, let's go. We, we, need, to, we need to make some propaganda quickly. And then Igor was like, yes, Xanderhal, yes. If you can go back and look at how free- Banana papaya. Frequent the uploads were back then. And you can see, okay, so that's how much like Jerry was doing. And then as soon as things started to steady out and the strike went away and income kind of recovered from the uh, suppression YouTube puts on your channel, uh, I just immediately started paying Cherry and it started at 1500 a month. Mind you, there were no bills or anything for them to pay. And on top of that, I, uh, I didn't just pay for uh, like just salary to Cherry. I also paid for things when it was like an emergency, kind of out of pocket. Most notably, the thing that comes to mind right away is there was a problem with Cherry's tooth, probably, I think, a molar that was bothering them pretty f So this is just not true. He did not pay for this tooth. We Cherry just came in to confirm that this is not the case. And in fact, I, uh, yeah, so he's just a liar. Frequently, I don't know if you guys have ever had, like, jaw or tooth pain, like an infection or something. It's apparently awful. It, very bad. Like, it, it's apparently miserable. Hey, by the way, it's really funny how he's trying to flex how nice of a person he is, and yet he doesn't, he seems to, to totally forget all the times that Cherry fronted money for him, that I, that I fronted money for him, that I drove down and helped him, that fucking Vosh fronted money for him. This guy's had his ass saved a thousand times, and now he's like, oh yeah, I helped my employee uh, with a bill once. That makes it okay for me to scream and, and ber berate them. Cherry's pronouns are she, they, yes. And so I think I paid for all of the procedure, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I would love to bring up uh, logs of this, but after just randomly messaging me on my birth, like, out of nowhere, mind you, me and Cherry have been friendly for months and months, out of nowhere, when Demon Mama starts her birthday stream on me, Cherry sends me an angry message, says I'm blocking you before you can block me, as if I was going to block Cherry, and then sends Balf, my friend, a message saying, I understand if you hate me after this. Like, very cryptically, like, I understand if you hate me after this, um, but I have nothing against you. And then follows it up with, never mind, you're cucked. Uh, I saw you lie about Demon Mama by saying she threw Xan under the bus during the Keffel's drama. And so I think that's what led to this, these claims. 
Um, mind you, there's definitely a couple months from when Cherry first started working for me that I have cl that I insisted. I insisted I owe Cherry for. And Cherry's always been like, no, it's okay, it's okay. Get 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 to it when you want, get to it when you want. I'm like, listen, I've got I I'm getting I'm paying you back for that. But that that was literally agreed to. Like it's there's nothing scandalous here. And I'll still pay Cherry back if they want to like unblock me and be like, hey, hey, can you like send me two hundred dollars for something? I don't know. I'll, I can I can chip away. I can chip away at it. They're doing the same- All right, we're gonna take a moment now. You all heard that, right? Okay, you heard him. This is how he characterizes it all. Now, of course, we know the truth. But that's what he looks, he thinks he's the hero here. He admits he hasn't paid Cherry yet. Yeah, he admits he hasn't paid Cherry yet. Yeah, it's interesting. Right? Fascinating, right? He owes his employee fucking money. And it's not the first time he hasn't paid Cherry money also, because we saw the clips, the evidence of him admitting that he didn't pay in, in fucking November either. Yeah, it's been seven months. What do you mean chip away? Notice how he was like, I was happy to just let it be. Of course you were happy to let it be. You owed money to somebody. You fucking abused somebody. Of course you were okay to let it be. We were the ones who took the high road, you fuck. Okay, here we go. Let me show you what I'm working on here, okay? Here are my tweets with the receipts included. We are going to add another one on in just a few minutes for you all to uh, to uh, take your take your eyes out and behold, okay? Re tried to take the high road with Xander Hall TV. Today, he explicitly lied about the abuse he knows happened in December. Here are the receipts of him berating and threatening his own friend and editor, Cherry. Sorry. And here are the first four of the screenshots. And then in the second tweet, continued receipts of Xander Hall's derangement and abuse in December towards his friend and employee. Here we have them. Okay. Now, why won't it let me post all? Am I boomering in some, for some reason? I'm not actually sure why it won't uh, let me post them, but... Oh, it's because I have a blank third tweet? How do I get rid of that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Boomered out. It's okay. Now you, yeah, now you all can just see how far it is, okay? There we go. Let's add this one here. And we got to rearrange these real quick. There we go. So those are in the correct date order. All right, those have gone up. We have now released those to the public. Here you are, if you wanna go take a look with your own eyes. Here you go, there you can go take a look with your own eyes right there. We're gonna be adding to this thread, so keep this, uh, keep it clear. Keep your eyes open, okay? Because now we need to talk about another thing that happened, okay? Now you all will recall, of course, that I uh, mentioned that this was not the only incident uh, of, of of deranged, abusive behavior, that this was a recurring incident that many of us were privy to, okay? That we tried to talk him down, that we went and did, I personally went and did, uh, uh, tried to do wellness checks on him, that we did our absolute best to try and calm him down off the edge, in addition to everything that we talked about in my last stream, which honestly, Maybe I should just read, in fact, no, you know what, for conciseness sake, just so that we have the whole thing here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring up the white nervosa thread real quick. Give me just a second here. I want us to watch, to read that again so you understand the context in which all of this actually happened, okay? Let me just, let me just, let me just grab that real quick. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna put it in here for good measure, just because I want to be thorough. I want you to understand just how far this all went. Okay, so just a little bit of a quick review. This will be new for people who weren't here last night. This is White Nervosa's thread from December 28 of 2023. This was the thread that was the last resort. Uh, this was a thread that occurred around the time that Zan threatened, uh, said that he was gonna burn me to mutual friends. This was at this was after all of this shit had been going down, after we'd been trying to talk him down, after he was freaking out, threatening, berating people in his life. 
Let's just take a look, shall we? Wait, did I tag the wrong Xander Hall? No! There's two Xander Halls? No, I didn't. No, I tagged Xandon Hall! What the fuck? That's evil. I need to purchase blue. Wait, can you, if you purchase blue and you edit... Shit, there's only 91 likes on it. Okay, hold on, I'm deleting them and re reposting them. We're, we're, we're taking the hit. We're, we're taking the hit and reposting. Hold on a second. We're gonna make this right. Got, got, got. Hold on a second, I'm deleting and reposting. Fixing this before it gets too far out of hand. There we go. All right, we fixed it. We fixed it. Here you go. Corrected. Corrected. I got owned by technology. All right. So, we have one more thing to do. Okay? And then we're going to move on to the real the real meat of this, okay? All right? Cuz I have a re I I've been saving the best for last. There we go. Thank you for fixing my silly mistake. All right, let's hear him for himself before we go to the final thing. Not to mention, I've got multiple people, including my current editor, that can back this up. Because This is, oh, your current editor. Your current editor, who is a total toady for you, your personal friend and your employee. Wow, your current editor. Wow. Just so that we're clear, this is a three-minute clip in case he tries to claim this is out of context. Let's go. As uh, Ethan and Cherry talked in depth about uh, handing off the work of editing between each other. And um, there was all an agreement there about how, um, because I have to pay my current editor who actually has like rent and bills and like a house and like a person, like a girlfriend as well to support, um, that I have to like pay my current editor a living wage and I'll pay like the last half of a month of uh, editing that Sherry did for me up until the Keffels drama. Um, the last half of, what is it, December, November, whenever the Keffels drama happened, I'll pay them back that when I can, but I haven't been able to yet because I gotta pay two two living wages. One of my- Boo hoo, boo hoo, it's all me. I'm so, it's me, I'm so problematic. Current editor and one to me, and uh, they blocked me before I- oh, I'm such the victim. Could, so, I mean, I might still be able to send it to him though, actually. How fucking, how fucking Chad would that be, though? Because I still have Cherry's Discord. I can still send it. Dude, how fucking Chad would that be if even after all this shit? How Chad would it be for you to pay money that you owed? That you weaseled, you tried to weasel your way out in a shitty contract while somebody was doing work for free? How fucking Chad? How stupid are you? How fucking stupid are you? Do you have an actually broken brain? You fucking slimy weasel shit! And all the pettiness, I still send the half a month of editing. Well, to be fair, there was very few uploads, but still, I still count it as half a month of editing work. Uh, that I consider myself to owe Cherry, by the way. I just still do that anyway. Like, it, a month or two from now, like, the drama's died down. There's no reason to do it anymore. I, I still send it. I, I There's no reason to do it anymore. A true, pathetic, childish, arrogant moron. I feel like I should, because I always, I always pay people back. Like, whenever I get a loan from somebody or borrow money, it... Anybody else get that feeling where when you owe someone money, you cannot relax? Doesn't matter when, where, or what situation you're in or what you're doing, you cannot relax. Oh, and yeah, Zan, I bet you haven't been playing any video games. I bet you haven't been laying around and smoking weed. I bet you haven't been chatting in your Minecraft servers. Can't borrow money in the first place either. Like, it's it's like the worst feeling in the world. Like, Walter White, like, trying to get money from Gretchen Elliott. You just can't do it. It's too much to your... That... Did he just compare himself to Walter White?
That is me. Like, my pride is heavily bruised. Danny, quick, Danny with the fact check. Danny says he claims that there weren't uploads in December. There were 29 uploads in the month of December. Yep, turns out he just lies about everything because he knows he's fucking cooked. I told you last night and I'll tell you again, he knows exactly what happened. He's lying to you, he's lying to everyone. And we're about to hit him. When I have with the real truth. owed anybody anything. And so the idea that I would do that, like it's insane. You can ask anybody who knows me. It's like, to call doing that Chad though, I mean, to be honest, like the equivalent of what's happened here is like your friend says- Look at his chat. It would be Giga Chad. This would be Giga Chad. It would be Giga Chad. It would be Giga Chad. Very Giga Chad. Yarp, 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 or, or, or. Uh, hey, you owe me for that dinner we had the other night. Yeah, all good. And then that friend like, gets into a fight I made a minions joke before but I unironically think that the minions have more independence than this at least the minions got their own little movie you a few like a while later and cuts you off and it's like do I really st still owe that friend money you know what I'm still yes gonna they did work for you you made money off of their work you fucking piece of shit yes you do not only that you owe them an apology you owe them groveling at this point you made money, profit, and they got nothing except for abuse from you. Yes. I give them the money I owe them anyway. I now feel, you grovel. Like that's respectable. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't do that, even if it's the right thing to do, you know? It's true, Xander Hall. Yeah, anarchist sock dem liberal Xander Hall here. Do I really owe someone money if they upset me after they did literal years of work, some of which I openly admit was unpaid? Multiple months when it was hard for me and they kept working? Paul does not like owing peeps money. I, I do not. I don't even like taking a service or anything from people without payment. Because then I, I got that, that rumble in my tumble all the time of like, I owe someone something. My, my debts are not paid. Not to mention, I've got- Alright, everybody. I've had enough of his bullshit. Haven't you? I want to show you. I want to show you just how far it got, okay? Just so you understand, okay? Truly how far it got, okay? Let me just get these open real quick. These were screenshots taken in the midst of this drama, in the midst of him wanting to nuke Keffels over a fight that he started, okay? All right? And I want you to understand when all of us, when me, Cherry, White Nervosa, and everyone else tell you that Xander Hall had lost his goddamn mind, was freaking out on everyone, this should be the definitive proof for you, okay? I'm serious. And if none of the other things are convincing for you, I hope this will be. Let's take a look. From December 17th, 2023. I hate all of them, Cherry. I want all of them to die. I would kill Kef Keffels in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even shoot her. I'd beat her to death with the gun. Cherry, Cherry says, you're not in a good mental state. Xander Hall replies, I will kill her. What's her address? I want her address. I want to know where she's at. Cherry says, she's in Ireland. It's not public. Please stop. You're spiraling. Xander says, someone has to die for this. I will never be happy until someone has died for this. Ideally, Keffels. Cherry says, Zan, her career is going to die. And it gets worse. Xander Hall says, and Velvet, and her fucking orbiters. I have to kill her, really kill her, really stop her heart. Cherry says, Zan, fucking stop. Calm down, stop, stop, please. And Zan says, okay, okay. Now I have to tell you about something else that I cannot provide a receipt for, okay? And this is in the same thread of this, but unfortunately this happened over a voice call, but I hope that you will understand when I tell you this one, 
I have to, uh, this one, I can't prove that this one happened. You're just going to have to believe in my accounting of the events. And this is my accounting of the events, okay, as they, as they were told to me in December, okay? But I hope that what I provided here will prove to you what I'm talking about. This one I don't have a receipt for because this one occurred over a voice call with Cherry, which I obviously do not have, could not have a recording of and neither could Cherry in this particular case. And that is that uh, at, a, at around this time, Xander Hall was uh, screaming expletives at Cherry, was threatening to kill himself, and was threatening to kill his own family members with a gun that he owns. Now, at that point in time, I was dispatched to go attempt to do a wellness check on him. And uh, both myself and my partner climbed in the car and drove over to where the address that he had provided to Cherry. As it turns out, he had provided an incorrect address to Cherry. And we didn't know this, so we waited there at, at the wrong address that he had provided to Cherry, hoping to be able to do a wellness check on him. Now, thankfully, shortly after that, he seemed to have calmed down. He went to lunch with his mother and uh, seemed almost, at, almost as if it never had happened at all. Later that night, he was freaking out again. And we went and checked again. And we found out that this was the wrong address and that he had not provided the correct address to Cherry. Now, of course, in neither of these circumstances did he actually engage in any violent behavior, thankfully. But he did, indeed, threaten this behavior towards people on his team and in his friend group. This, of course, occurred in addition to his recorded threatening of Keffels and her friends. By name, explicitly asking for docs. Now, in both cases, he did indeed calm the hell down. But it took a lot of work from the people close to him. I do not believe that any of these were real threats, okay? I don't think that he was actually ever once threatening to do violence, okay? And the reason why I believe that is because nothing even remotely close to it ever happened. What I believe he was trying to do was to control others. And this is precisely why the friendships with his editor, with, his, with the proprietor of his website, with myself and with many others ended. Because we were tired of being subjected to his insanity. We were tired of being subjected to his abuse, which he is now denying on the internet. You are now familiar with the entire reason why everyone said, we're done with Zan, we're out of here. Why everyone said, if this guy can fucking go do his own thing, we don't care. If this asshole wants to go play Minecraft and yell about Joe Biden, whatever. But nobody wanted to associate with him anymore. More. No one wanted to, nobody trusted him anymore. Now you know exactly why. Remember how I told you? in my last stream, which goes way more into detail on everything that happened. Now I realize I said we were gonna read the White Nervosa stream, or the White Nervosa thread. And we're gonna do that now, just so that we're clear, just so that all of our bases are covered and you understand the full context. Let's go through this just so we have everything contained here. This was White Nervosa's thread from December 28th, shortly after all of the events that I just showed you happened. White Nervosa says, I do quite dislike drama, but we are here. Thread. Xander Hall's emotional manipulation and outright abuse are the reason I got directly involved. I frankly do not care and have described the situation as two arslers fighting. After causing multiple emotional breakdowns, allow me. Zan's apology stream was an hour of the shoe drama to establish he's a victim. By the way, this is what, what, what White Nervosa is referring to here is the drama that Xander Hall was freaking out about. Okay? The, the drama that drove him to saying insane things in order to try to manipulate Cherry. And what he wanted to man manipulate Cherry to do, he wanted to manipulate Cherry to release information that was not yet ready to be released, that was not yet able to be fully verified and not yet able to be released safely. 
Zan's apology stream was an hour of the Shu drama to establish he's a victim. He says, staying friends with Shu isn't a problem. The problem is the flippant disregard for what Shu did. This is talking about the drama. He never shows where Keffels did this. Xanderhal tried to get permission to leak someone else's DMs between them and Keffels. They said no. He proceeded to emo emotionally abuse and manipulate them until they had multiple breakdowns. I told him that I'd raise the issue with White, with White Forest and we would pro possibly drop him if he did not get consent to release those. He justifies by saying the, that they were a complicit asshole. I witnessed this behavior myself. I saw this with my own eyes. He says that it was blackmail and that this is what he means. The nuke, quote unquote, that he has on Keffels is overwhelmingly private statements and not public behavior, ignoring the stuff not involving Keffels at all in it. On the other hand, he told multiple people if he isn't able to leak someone else's DMs to make the haters eat their words, he would delete all social media on the 12 on on December 22nd, 2023. This is another threat that he made to us and his employees, saying, "I'm just going to delete everything then. You just want me to delete everything. Fine. I'll disappear. I'll delete my channel. I'm deleting it tomorrow." That call I said that it would be a better choice than violating someone else's consent to own the haters. That call is recorded. It is up to White Nervosa if White Nervosa decides to release that, re that call recording, but that call was recorded. The busy week we had prior to the stream on December 27th was him playing video games to escape. I tried with two others to talk him down. He left abruptly. One person concluded he was bluffing. They were correct. I'm not rolling in the mud with this, and I will simply release receipts without comment if he contests any of this information. Which is where I am as well at a very different point in time. Mind that he cannot simply talk, stop talking to someone. He must publicly attempt to drag them and have the crowd follow. Is this not exactly what is happening now? Is that not exactly what's happening? In my last stream, last night, I proved that he was doing this. That all the way back in May, he was trying to shit talk me about this specific situation. That he was trying to drag my name in the mud. When I hadn't said shit about him, we went our own way after his insane behavior. I was ready to move on with my life for real. We showed that clip with the date and everything. To quote Zan, for the safety of those involved, I won't release it. He is entirely aware and simply does not care. To call him a selfish man-child would ignore the malicious abuse, his lack of care to the point that he would leak DMs to hurt someone else to spite others. And here is the screenshot of that. White Nervosa says, Hi there, Zan. I want to make it known to everyone here now that there was no talk blank and I about your site status. We had a call today that was not recorded where I explicitly told you that you should wait. Nothing would be held against you and you should get blanks consent to leak DMs. Within a few hours, you changed your mind in a call that was just recorded. You justified leaking because blank was a complicit asshole. In response, I said if you leak it without consent, you'd be dropped. Keep in mind that the complicit asshole was somebody who was severely worried about being doxxed. You've since accused of blackmail to blank. That is where we are at at this moment. Sorry, uh, Xanderhal says, sorry, not blackmail, but threatening my income. It worked. I'm just going to drop the whole Keffels thing. He didn't. I see how it is. I got the message. Even at this point, at this degree, he was still, still going. Hey, Velvet, I'm sorry you had to get involved on this. And he says they did not... Okay, good. That's why I didn't read that out loud. That's why I didn't read that out loud. Velvet says I wasn't going to say shit. I'm sorry that you had to get involved in this. For what it's worth, 
None of us thought that he was saying anything real. It was an untreated mental breakdown that he was completely unwilling to own. Uh, he didn't do anything. He literally just sat in his basement playing Minecraft. So, yeah. We didn't feel there was any need to make people scared for no reason when he was just fucking saying whatever. And when I say he was saying whatever, he was screaming shit at, at Cherry. He was screaming shit all over the place. He was dumping up his garbage. We, we showed the one with Mango, right? Where Mango said, hey, buddy. And then he was like, I, I bet that Cherry is shit talking me all over the internet right now. He was completely out of his mind. And unfortunately, he can't own when he fucks up. He can't own when he was out of line. He can't own any of this. Key in the Astronomer says, I just checked Zan's YouTube. His videos from that time, half of all the videos marked seven months ago would be very roughly about 200,000 views worth of unpaid paid labor. Yep. So I hear that he's uh, I hear that he's making some statements real quick. Can anybody give me the link where he is currently trying to defend himself? I'd like to just before we wrap this up, I'd like to just see with my own eyes what he's trying to say right now. Danny, thank you. Let's take a look. Cherry lied, demon mama cried. Do I look like I'm fucking crying, you motherfucker? Does this look like fucking tears to you? Like, this is not an honest, like, I'm coming forward about what I went through type thing. Oh, so he's trying to release the nuke seven months late after everybody already did the work to talk about it. After everybody already did the work to go through everything, verify everything. What does he think he's going to get here? The dumps over the Keppel stuff, particularly because at the time, um... I don't want to get super into health stuff, but uh, yeah, let's my watch mom's this going through some health things and she's visiting me both for my birthday and to get some minor surgery. Here, let's do this. Watch this. Bam. I'm far more prepared for getting lied about and slandered. Uh, I mean, I've gone through this several times before, famously, but... Uh, yeah, it's still his birthday. It's his second birthday, guys. I feel like I've kind of gotten inoculated to it a lot more at this pulls drama. At this point, I would have been like, oh, like freaking out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I would I would absolutely love to see... Uh, Demon Mama hasn't shown much on stream. The TLDR of what she's shown was you having a breakdown on Cherry because... Do you agree with that? Uh, which is something Cherry... Do we agree with that, chat? ...to me. Uh, it went and deleted her messages yeah. to avoid oh, it being shown. Breaking down about money was Cherry's, like, weekly routine. Yeah, weekly. exactly. So then to couple that with, uh... She then shows you <laughs> oh, saying that man. you wish to harm Keffel. So obviously, you said more than that. Velvet, you can hit me up on D on uh, Discord. Just add me on Discord. We'll talk. But I can't say that verbally because of YouTube reasons, right? Um, which I honestly do not think is the most unreasonable thing for a person to say in private to their friend during a mental breakdown about a person. You didn't characterize it as a mental breakdown. You characterized it as random friend stuff. You were screaming and abusing Cherry. You did this multiple times. You Dude, slimy piece of shit. Notice his minion me. saying like, all of this for him. Ever, like, I but to be clear here, to be very, very clear here, if you think- He didn't see it as a, d a breakdown then either. He defended himself. He's defended himself for seven months. When we watched a clip from May, he was still defending himself. He's- now all of a sudden it's a breakdown. Like, venting angrily and being like, I hope this motherfucker dies. I, I, like, in Minecraft. Like, if you think that's, uh, like- What are you- what are you trying to show me there, comrade girl? Just- what do you have? What are you trying to show me? I don't know what you're trying to say. unreasonable doing that in private with a friend about someone who's like 
an awful a doxer, a mocker of rape victims, and a person who is trying to destroy his livelihood. It wasn't as if he was making these threats to that person or in public. It was obviously not oh, looking great. To be clear, to be clear, Kefels also, or D Demon Mama also knew that Kefels was scamming the hundred. Oh, days. Demon Mama like, was Demon aware Mama of all this. Doxing, all this shit. I sent all these screenshots to Demon Mama, oh. and I told her about all this in call, and she was encouraging oh. me not to release it because if I did so, it would be a violation of Cherry's privacy. So th this shit is good. This this shit. You little shit. You little fucking shit. It goes back. I, 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 lo I love how um, o only only with someone like Keffels can you see people defending someone like lashing out at a... a, a oh my god, this is so silly. Let's see if Demon Mama's willing uh, to even like, have a conversation. It goes back. Like, like that's going to cause a lot of echo. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just willing to talk about her. Yeah, I know you're willing to talk about me. You watching now? You paying attention? Oh, don't raid uh, Demon Mama's chat, by the way. I saw someone in the chat say Magic. Oh, I mean, there's Kefels, no point to. I feel like they, I feel like they might. I, I don't think they're uh, like I, they might be from here, but I didn't. All right, so you're watching now. I'm glad that you're paying attention. Now that we've established that you are a fucking liar, and you know you're a liar, Zan. There's no way out of this for you. There was way out. There was ways out of it for you in the past. You can throw around whatever piddling bullshit you want, but at this point. You fucked yourself. You have fucked yourself. You have fucked everyone around you for months, and now you have fucked yourself. Now you've got your little minion sitting here streaming a little defense stream for you. Guess what? While you've got 94 people listening to your mad cope, we have nearly 2,000 people listening right now and seeing the truth of your behavior. The behavior that you explicitly lied about. genuinely unbelievable it's incredible that you would try and spin this as anything other than your madness everyone who was involved in that situation knows exactly why we didn't want you to drop the nuke exactly the way that you acted about it like a fucking piddling baby because you swore your career was going to be over from a fight you started if we didn't let you put other people in danger and now you're gonna try and downplay everything that you said? Well, guess what? Hey, everybody who's watching, all of you guys watching, tell me real quick, just real quick, explain this shit, okay? Tell me how you explain this. Tell me how you explain Xander Hall explicitly asking for docs of Keffels, explicitly saying he's going to kill people involved with Keffels, and then refusing to even acknowledge that. I didn't drop these yesterday. He replied to my stream yesterday saying, none of this happened. There wasn't abuse. Everything we talked about was just two friends. It was just two friends. That's not what just two friends talking looks like. That's a psychotic breakdown. Yeah, this is a, it was a heated gamer moment. It was insanity. They're not even watching. They're, they can't even watch. They can't even actually show their audience. These got, look at this. I've got it flowing live right now. They've got it paused while they fucking yap. Yap, yap, yap. Quippet says, this is pathetic. You refuse to listen to. I just listen. What do I have to listen to? What do I have to listen to here? Huh? My cards have been on the table since the beginning. There ain't nothing to say about me. He could have been fine to let it go. If he could take a fucking joke after he said a bunch of shit about people, my birthday boy stream was just was just me roasting him a little bit over his Biden takes after he'd been taking shots at me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're in a you're delusional. You're in a brainwashing zone.
Tara Alexandra says, Hey guys, coming in from Xander Hall's chat, the thread on Twitter is genuinely a bad look. You don't want to drag yourself down to hell defending a manipulative abuser. You want to know what Xander Hall could do right now? You want to know what Xander Hall could do right now? He could apologize to everyone that he freaked out on. And guess what? While his reputation for being dishonest might not recover, people would probably forgive him. He could move on and be just fine, but he had to keep going with this shit. He wanted a nuke, here's his fucking nuke. He hassled all of us about this nuke. And I've been honest about it from the very get-go. When it comes to the whole Keffel situation, there were things that I knew in December, there were things that I didn't know in December, there were things that had not been verified in December, He wants to get in a VC and talk about what? And talk about what? So let me see here. What do they want here? Let's just listen in real quick. Damn, this is some Very classic tight clique of people that Let's hear. Anybody that uh that they that like pisses them off, right? And that's and what I've fine. done. I've pissed but them off. To keep going, going and so it's a very tight clique. What are you talking about? You were in the friend group. You you fucking screamed at everyone, you dumbass. They're going to do everything in their power to try to go after me. The truth is, though, I mean, I'm going to keep on that grind. For the most part, this Here's spear is, uh, he hassled it, it all seems of us pretty insane. That wasn't from the DM community, you Snake? Who else would it be? I am a 300 subscriber uh, nobody. Do you think, nah, regardless, nah, I, I, it could be some random right wingers. Sure, sure, right. sure. Yeah. Regardless, hey guys, regardless, regardless we do have people in DMs chat saying Twitter things. Is genuinely a bad look. Hold on. Don't want yeah, to I mean, they're going to be turn very down vitriolic. For a you, I mean, we also have people coming into DMs chat and saying shit like, oh, we should call police to their home and whatnot. Dude. Xander Hall. People are talking about the police because you made death threats about people. We went to check on you ourselves because we knew fucking calling the cops on you would be disastrous. And also that you were probably having a mental breakdown, which you refuse to acknowledge. You refuse to acknowledge until now when it's convenient for you. You fucking lied about being abusive to other people. You wouldn't take responsibility for it. You wouldn't seek help for it. Well, yeah, that's Apologize. that's fair, but yeah. like to, to be that's fair. There you have it. Oh my God, he that's it. fair. That's fair from Zan's own words. He just acknowledged it would have been fucking fair. Be clear. There's like guess what? I've basically upset a very tight clique of people that recover, act like high schoolers and are willing to him. like burn anybody. That, uh, yeah, I'm willing to burn anybody. That's why I waited seven goddamn months to see if you would take... I didn't even... I, I didn't even have to wait seven months. You decided to start going after people. You started, decided to start taking pot shots. You and your community started taking pot shots at me. You started taking pot shots at, at Vosh. And when I pushed back on you even the slightest bit, you went off on some giant tirade about how I'm a snake in the grass. Jazzdog says, I control, I control effed police. And this was the only recent message. Rifter, yo demon mama, Sunday is trying to call in. He also wants to know if you called the police about Zan's threats. No, of course not. They were not fucking, of course not. We went and saw him ourselves. He fucking lived around the corner from me. I went over and said, dude, what the fuck? He wasn't there. And then he calmed down and was like, I'm playing Minecraft. I'm doing a lot better now. You don't fucking call the police over someone having a fucking freak out in chat. What you do when somebody's having a deranged, abusive freak out in chat is you go, man, you're unhinged. You need to stop being like this to the people in your life. And then when they say, no, oh, I didn't do nothing wrong, then you go, fuck you then. We're done. This is so pathetic. This is so fucking pathetic. This is a clip. Let's watch this clip real quick. Cherry is on stream, or, or Cherry is telling Demon Mama on stream that they ran everything. And while that is technically true, do you all want to see- <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! He a man! Oh my god! He a man! Oh my god! He a man!
be the extent of what running everything means for a Xander Hall stream? It's really simple. Okay, we go to pre It's simple for Xan, you idiot! Of course it's fucking simple for Xan! Premiere Pro. All not right. for not for Cherry! Let's open up Premiere Pro. Do you guys want to see the work that has to go into editing a Xander Hall? This is so pathetic. Dude, hold on a second. This is gonna be the massive, the biggest self-report ever video it is not a lot of work 1500 is a very fair rate for that now dude we know that you make worse videos than cherry did we know that you make worse thumbnails we know okay we've seen them okay did you want to see just so we know i want to just take a moment here real quick and share something with you i made something special the other night okay i made something really special the other night all right because i was feeling motivated and inspired now i was going to keep this one for the private this one was just gonna be for the inside circle, but I wanted to show you, I was, I was super inspired by Ethan's extremely, extremely hard work for the thumbnails. And so I made a thumbnail for free for Xander Hall in case he wanted to respond, okay? Based on, on Ethan's work, okay? Here we go, I made it myself. It took me about, it took me about seven minutes. I think you've all seen for yourself. Exactly what went down today. The behavior, the constant lying, the smearing other people and their reputations, people who are in positions that are weaker than him for literally no reason. And I wanna remind you of that. There was no reason for any of this. Most of these events occurred back in December. He didn't have to do any of this, okay? He didn't have to take pot shots at me. And, and let's just, just so that we have the, the nice anti-gaslighting sphere, let's just remember how this went. He started taking pot shots at me and Vosh. I responded to his silly pot shots by making some jokes about him being a Biden simp. He f absolutely flipped out on that and started saying that I was pedo jacketing him, that I had it out for him, that it was, uh, that, you know, this was trying to get revenge because of the Keffel's drama. And then I proved exactly, exactly how full of shit he was. Just remember how many people he was willing to throw under the bus, how many people's reputations he wanted to do for what? so that he could make his ego bigger, so that he could preserve this delusional idea that everyone in his world and his audience needs to think he's the smartest guy that's ever lived. He wanted to talk about jokes. He spent this entire last six months, seven months, ta constantly talking about nukes, nukes, nukes. You got your nuke, buddy. You got your fucking nuke. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe in the future, I can hope that you'll learn how to appreciate the humans that you have in your life, the people that actually fucking build shit for you, the people that were actually there for you, the people that work their asses off for you. Or I don't know, maybe you're all good. Maybe you're fine with your uh, chatter-based Final Fantasy 14 free company. The way you treated the people in your life was fucking garbage. The way you decided to handle this situation was fucking garbage. The way that you drama seek all the time then play birthday boy is fucking garbage. You brought this on your frickin' self. And you know you did. And so does Ethan. Anyway. That's really all there is. This was an, a completely unplanned stream. You know I all said my piece last night, and it wasn't until he outright denied everything and started lying about it on stream today that I felt the need to show everything. So, let's just remember. And let's also remember that all of this is going to be recorded. All of this, the timeline, is a matter of digital evidence. Now, I got a lot of donations to read from people who asked questions and who people who supported me today so i'm going to read those and i'm going to answer those questions and then after that i'm going to go get some rest because i already did a nine and a half hour stream yesterday so let's read these donations let's hear what people have to say this is a 100 percent viewer supported show so of course your support is what makes it possible for me to make my show and what makes it possible for me to do all of the other fun things that aren't this type of shit this all is very fun and fiery and crazy. It's not very fun for me. It's a little cathartic for me at this point, this particular situation. And I'm sure it's fun for all of you out there. It's very entertaining, I'm sure. 
But uh, I do a lot of other stuff all the time. And my viewers love that shit. You could become one too. Thanks for supporting me, those who have. We're gonna read the donos.